Hello everyone. Now from this video on we are going to start with CBSC as well. Uh, I was making videos for ICSC. We have started with ICSC again. Um, uh, videos will be uploaded for ICSC and CBSC both so that we can cater to the needs of CBSC children as well. So we are going to start up with the first chapter, chapter number six, life processes from CBSC. In detail, I'll be taking up all the topics in detail, starting from first topic to the last. I'll also be giving you tips and tricks for what type of questions are framed and so on and so forth. So please share it with your friends and fellow mates, even juniors and seniors that ma'am is now going to uh, make videos for CBSC also so that they can also benefit from it. So we'll not waste any more time and we'll start with it life processes now first of all as and when we start this topic we must understand what are life processes what do you think um, what are the various um, systems in our body or what are the various processes taking place in our body which we consider as life processes so life processes are the processes which help an organism or individual to sustain life as in to live for example circulatory system digestive system respiratory system and excretory system are the systems which are considered as life processes if they stop the organism dies so that is why we consider uh, consider them as life processes but apart from this we have control and coordination and we have reproductive system also in our body but they are not life processes they are helpful for you know living a life but if they stop or does not work properly the person won't die so that's why we don't call it life process we call these systems as life processes which include transportation digestion respiration and excretion which all are covered in this chapter life processes we'll do those topics thoda sa extensively so that you have um uh, more of you know understanding from the topic whatever you are doing in the class let's start life processes i've told you what are life processes we are going to start with the first life process that is nutrition <laughs> nutrition that is taking in food so what are the various steps of nutrition there are different if i if i ask you what is nutrition nutrition would be wherein you take in food you take in the different nutrients or any organism for that matter takes in food or nutrients to survive is known as nutrition various steps of nutrition include ingestion ingestion that is taking in food and chewing it and then movement of food downwards then we have digestion that is when the food moves down and the process of digestion starts so ingestion digestion absorption that is the digested food is then absorbed into the bloodstream and goes wherever required assimilation as in when the food moves into the cells the process of respiration takes place and release of energy takes place is used up actually that is assimilation and final process is ejection that is the waste which is left is passed out in the form of stool from the body herein a very important difference between ejection and excretion most of the children think that they are one and the same thing but they are not ejection is the end product of digestion that is solid waste stool passing out from the body excretion is the passing out of urine from the body there is a complete different system in our body known as excretory system which involves kidney urinary bladder ureters and all so that is excretion so please make it very clear in your mind that ejection is the removal of solid stool from the body from a whereas excretion is the removal of um, urine from the body formation and uh, of urine and uh, passing out of urine via urethra is known as excretion so these are the various steps of nutrition now we'll take up these steps once we'll start with the digestive system steps of nutrition we've done now we are going to talk about types of nutrition nutrition and its types this is step of nutrition when we talk about 
एनिमल्स फाइन न्यूट्रिशन टाइप्स देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन दैट इज ऑटोट्रॉफिक एंड हेटरोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन Autotrophic nutrition is the one which takes place in green plants and the process by which it takes place is known as photosynthesis. In our upcoming video we will take up photosynthesis in detail its steps and the various experiments which you have in our course to um, prove the different pro uh, parts of rest photosynthesis we'll do that in our upcoming video and we'll also take up this the whole process in our upcoming videos here in in this video we are going to talk about heterotrophic mode of nutrition whether it is in plants or it is in animals so let's start with it heterotrophic mode of nutrition now when i say heterotrophic mode of nutrition and when i say um, that it takes place uh, in different organisms let's talk about them one by one what are the different types of heterotrophic nutrition it includes parasitic mode of nutrition saprotrophic mode of nutrition symbiotic mode of nutrition then holozoic mode of nutrition so these are the various types of heterotrophic nutritions which we have when i say it is parasitic mode of nutrition it, i mean to say that the organism feeds on a host organism without killing it the various in in examples would be like for example leeches then cascuta when we talk about plants amarbel uh, is cascula cascuta leeches um, then we have uh, louses and all so they they are all parasites then we have saprotrophic mode of nutrition wherein organisms break down the food outside the body and then they feed on it for example the various fungus what happens here these organisms they start growing on dead and decaying organic matter or apne body se they secrete a secretion over that dead and decaying organic matter convert it into a soluble form and absorb it so they are not they don't have a digestive system they will just secrete that secretion here so that all of the dead material converts into a soluble form so that they can easily absorb it so this is saprotrophic mode of nutrition very common mode in fungus then we have symbiotic association symbiotic association is wherein two organisms live in a mutually benefitic relationship wherein one benefits other a most common one which we know is lichens there are many in nature but lichens we are going to talk about or rhizobium bacteria also for that matter so lichens what is it it's a blue green algae and a fungus they live in association with each other the fungus absorbs all the water and minerals from the substratum gives it to the uh, algae for the process of photosynthesis algae prepares food and give it to the fungus so they are mutually benefiting each other this is symbiotic mode of <clears throat> nutrition then we have holozoic mode of nutrition holozoic mode of nutrition has these different steps so holozoic would be wherein any organism has a complete digestive system picks up the food puts it in the mouth and chew chews the food and then it goes down for digestion so this whole digestive system which all organisms they have it they undergo holozoic mode of nutrition so these are the different types of heterotrophic nutritions in our next video we will talk about photosynthesis first we'll talk about heat autotrophic mode of nutrition photosynthesis and its experiments and uske baad wala video mein we'll talk about the whole digestive system so keep watching liking sharing and subscribing thank you